What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, today we have another unboxing. This time it's the Rosewill Neon K85 RGB Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. First of all, I'd like to thank Rosewill for sending me this keyboard. Their link will be down in the description below if you guys want to check them out. They're not paying me or anything to say anything, by the way. So let's get right to the unboxing. As you can see, it says right here, 16.8 uh, color backlighting, RGB obviously. Customization setting, it has side backlighting, which I didn't even know. It has blue kale switches, as you can see, and just by looking at the keyboard, it's obviously RGB, and you can see all the different lighting modes. So let's take a look around the box. On the bottom, we have some branding, as well as on this side, we have Rosewill. And on the other side, Rosewill again. And on the back side, you can see uh, the full keyboard layout and the and a couple of key highlighted and their functions. Uh, it has N key rollover, durable key switches, anti-slip rubber foot on the bottom, adjustable side backlight, which is pretty great. I mean, I haven't really seen that in many keyboards, at least from the ones I've owned, but I'm sure they're out there. And it also shows you a list of the specifications and features. So it has 13 pre-programmed LED modes, easy macro recording, media function control, and key rollover, unique side backlight with color adjustment, software suite for customization settings, package contents, it's the keyboard and the user manual, keyboard specs, uh, I'm not going to read all of them, but you guys could take a look at it. That's where it says it has uh, kale switches, it has a total key travel of 4 millimeters, and stuff like that. You guys could take a look at it, you could pause the video. I'm going to try to have some different angle shots of the box and the keyboard so you guys could check those out so now finally we're going to be moving into the box see what all the fuss is about so right off the bat we got some some nice protective packaging we got some foam on both sides as well as a protective film or eh, i don't even know what to call this thing we have the manual right on top of it i'm not going to look at it just yet if i have trouble Doing the color thing, uh, switching the lighting modes and everything like that, then I'll take a look at it, but it shouldn't be too hard. So we're gonna place the box out of the way. Okay, so here's the keyboard. Wait a minute. Alright, first impression, it sounds very nice and it actually feels pretty premium. I'm not sure, I think this is mainly plastic and it does have uh, this thing, though. what's it called? Wrist rest, I think, wrist rest. Right there, you just set it on its side, you can put your wrist on top of it maybe make it a little more comfortable while you're typing so that's definitely a positive or i believe i don't know if you could take it off i'm not sure uh, from the looks of it i don't think you can it shouldn't be a big problem or it shouldn't be a problem for anyone because it's not it's not super big or anything so you might not even put your palm on it so let's take a look at the back side so first off you can see right here it has like a little tunnel and stuff that's for routing your cable, so if you have your if you have your PC on that side, then you could route your cable through here and then just place it on that side or the other side, just bring it through here or through the middle if your keyboard is straight or if you want your cable to go straight forward. It also has some rubber feet so the keyboard won't slide. I'm actually going to leave those up. And now we're going to plug it in. Before I do that, let's just look at the cable. It is USB, like pretty much all keyboards. And the cable is just, it's nothing special, it just feels like a standard cable. Which I don't know how it will turn up in the long run. Alright, so now we're going to plug in the keyboard and see what lighting effects it comes in already. And as you can see, I'm going to turn off the light very quickly. And there it is, it's just like a, like a wave effect, I think, and then they just stack up on the side, which looks pretty cool. Oh, and then, okay, okay. So the lighting looks pretty nice, I'm not going to lie, and then... I'll have different angles again to show you guys, but there's also light on the side, as you can see on my hands right there. There's On both sides, there's light. I, li I really like the wave effect. I mean, that's probably my favorite effect. You guys should probably tell by the mouse pad. And I don't know if you guys saw the other keyboard, the one I, I already use. I'm also going to have a sound test later in the video for you guys who want to know what it sounds like. And so to change the brightness, you, you hold function and you go up or down depending on how bright you want it. I'm going to leave it at full brightness because that it looks the best and it also looks the best on camera, obviously. So now we're going to look at all the different lighting effects it has. Again, again you hold function, go to right here, so that one's the wave, then it's red. Oh, no, oh, is that reactive? So like if you click, yep. So if you click a key, it lights up like the space bar, function key, J, J, I mean H, G, F, T, yeah. And it's not always the same color as you can see, which is very nice. So now function again, let's click on that one. Now it's, oh, so now it's cycling through the colors, like sort of like a breathing mode, but a little bit faster. 
red again. Oh, well, it, it always starts at red because the rainbow thing. So this one fades through the, through the colors, looks very nice. Did I already click on that, that one? Oh, this one's like a wave effect, but only with the red. I don't know how you could change the color. You just, can you hold it and press it again? Oh, okay, so it comes with more effects. I don't even know what's possible. So there's a lot more effects if you just press the same button or the same. Oh, okay, I get it. All right, so you see how it's blue? And then if I do that, now it's purple. Do the same one, it changes color and stuff. So that's, okay, this one might be my favorite. I don't know what you call this, it's like a star lighter. It kind of reminds me of when you get the star in Mario Kart or like any Mario game. You know, remember? And then you're like unstoppable. That's what this reminds me of. I'm probably gonna leave it at this because it looks pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how it looks on camera on YouTube. I mean, I could see it here, but I'm not sure how it's gonna render. But it looks very nice. I'm gonna try to have some different angle shots once again. You guys are probably looking at those right now. All right, so now I'm gonna do a typing test on uh, some website or whatever. Uh, so you guys could hear the sound and all that stuff, and I will tell you guys how I feel about it typing, if it's responsive, if it if it misses some keystrokes or something like that. I'm gonna tell you guys in a bit. And also tell me in the comments below if you want to see a giveaway. I'm gonna see if I could give this away. I'm not sure though. I would like to give it away because but I think it's the right thing to do, which is give it back to you guys because I, I honestly wouldn't be making these videos if it wasn't for you guys. So tell me in the comments below if you want me to give this away. And I'll, if the response is positive, then I will give it away in the next, or in, in the review video. Anyway, let's move on to the sound test. <laughs> I can't type anything. Uh, you guys could just listen to it. That has been the typing test so far from what I could tell. The keyboard feels very responsive. It feels well. It feels very nice. I have to test it while gaming and all that stuff, but I'm gonna have a full review by, I think, early next week. And uh, I'll tell you guys all the ups and downs about it. Uh, but so far, everything's been positive. It feels um, it feels nice. I think it's mostly, it, I think it's all plastic, but it feels nice, the quality and everything. Again, nobody's paying me to say this. The link to where you guys can check out this keyboard and more products will be down in the description below. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a giveaway on it. Tell me in the comments below if you guys would like that. If I do decide to give it away, then I'll probably all announce it in the review video, which will be next week, like I said. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.